Hello, my friend. Welcome to another video. So today's going to be a little bit of a quickie type of video. So here's what's going on. I hit my 100,000 subscribers. I'm so excited. I was supposed to do a live last night, but something I ordered for the giveaways had not shown up in time. It came this morning. So tomorrow, uh, April 5th, 2022 at 7:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on my channel I'm going to be going live. I'm going to be doing an auction. I'm going to be doing some giveaways with not only uh some paints but some color art products and we're going to have a great time. So please show up tomorrow. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Tammy Anderson Art. So what I have here uh, first are some beautiful new primary elements that I want to show you. And then I'm going to give you a preview video for the auction pieces tomorrow night. Um, these new colors here are called starburst galaxy that's the name of the set and of course there's always 20 percent off but they are gorgeous they are unique and they are like no others that i already own so that is very exciting so let me just show you these colors really quick now i'm not used to the names so excuse me while i do look at the lid so this first one now there's one color in this set. This is it. It's called Opalite. It is a blingit color. And what that means, sorry, let me make this focus here. What that means is that you can use this color in resin or acrylic pouring. The primary elements are for acrylic pouring only unless... There is a solution that Color Art sells called Art Fluid that you can turn them into kind of like a paste and then use it in resin. But typically, you use the primary elements for acrylic pouring and their blingit colors or their actual resin art colors for resin. And if you are a resin artist and do not have resin art colors, you must get some of them because especially the diamond galaxy line colors they are bananas so in this set there's only one that is for both resin and acrylic pouring but as i said if you have that art fluid solution you could wet them down and mix them into resin the primary elements and another quick note on that because i always get somebody that says i use primary elements in resin all the time i don't wet them down they're fine. Here's the deal. You can take a primary element that's a lighter color, okay, that doesn't have a lot of pigment in it and more of, um, let's say, mica, and you can mix it, mix it, mix it, and it'll it'll mix in, and 90% 90, 90 of it is mixed in. You'll see a little bit of speckling in your resin project. There are some, though, that are darker that if you mix and it looks like it's mixing in, you look at your artwork after it's dry. You're going to see little chunks of the product that didn't dissolve in the resin. So it may seem like they're mixing in, but they are not. So just be careful with that. That's all I want to say on that. But anyway, this is not a resin video, so let's get back to these colors. This one is called Opalite. Look at that. I mean, look at the sparkle. That is bananas. Then we have next, this one is called Tangerine Dreams, which I'm going to have to ask why it's called Tangerine because tangerines in my area are orange, not pink or light pink, I should say. Either way, stunning color. Very soft pink with a blue color shift. Then, move this out of the way. We have what's called 
Shadow Moon. Now that's a cool name. Leslie always comes up with cool names for these things. Another one with that beautiful rainbow sparkle and a violet color shift to it. Then we have these here, which I really like. I like these odd colors because you can't find colors like this in regular paint. So this one is called Amber Wing. Look at that. Is that not crazy? Do you see that, that sparkle? <gasps> Goodness. That's, that's worth one more shot. Oh, I can't wait to use that one. All right, so moving along, trying to do this as fast as I can for you. Serenity Rose. And I just mixed these up really quick, so I got to mix them a little bit more before I use them. That's a really pretty color, too. All right, over here, we'll go to this hot pink that's catching my eye, and it's called Carnival. That's a fun name for this hot pink. Wow. If I could whistle, I would do a woo-woo. <laughs> that is pretty. I'm trying to catch the uh, sparkle here. It's daylight, so it's always harder to catch it. All right, next up we have Starlight Blue. And there's a really, really pretty blue in this collection. That is pretty. If you're a blue lover... This is the one I'm talking about right here that keeps my attention. And it is called Sea Dancer. That's a cute name. Look at that. Beautiful green color shift. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I want to use that with these two. I'm calling them caramel colored colors. Uh, this is Citrine Druzy. Now, this one's going to be a stunner. I could tell already. I'm seeing these for the first time, by the way, with you under light. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. Next up, we have Fragrant Time. Wow. <laughs> that is sexy. Does color make you happy? I know it makes me happy. Next up, this one too is really something phenomenal. Fennel Flowers. And you know what? I'll show these to you uh, time lapse without the flash on so you can see in the natural light what they look like. Look at that. Holy macaroni. Absolutely beautiful. Alrighty. And then we have two left. This one's called Cosmos. Like I said, I just mixed these up, so I did it really quick. Oh, that's really pretty, too. See, like I said, you're never going to find colors like this in acrylic paint. That's why they're so unique, and I love them. I've been buying these for, oh, going on six years, I think, now. I've been a fan of color... So this last one is called Tropical Splash. 
Oh, that's really pretty too. Look at that. Yep. So, my friends, that is the Starburst Galaxy set. Again, 20% off. You're getting 13 colors and uh, a bottle of Polyport and a bottle of Vivid Enamel. So, two different mediums to mix them with. And I'll explain really quick while I go over these in the natural daylight. Um, the Polypore is an enamel that has varnish in it already. So you mix some into your primary elements and, you know, you get your cell activator out and you have your ingredients for the bloom. And then the enamel is basically the same thing as the Polypore, but without the varnish because not everybody wants to do blooms or, or have varnish in their product. So... The enamel, you can just use it straight to paint with or, you know, mix it with your own type of varnish that you like to use, like Joe Sonia. That's what I do, do the bloom. So that's the differences. But you're going to get both of those for free with this set. Plus that 13th color, which is for resin and acrylic pouring called Opalite. All right, so let me show you these auction, auction, <laughs> auction pieces really quick, and I'll be back.
I hope to see you tomorrow at my celebration slash giveaway slash painting slash auction, whatever I get to throw in there, I'll try to throw in there. But anyway, 7.30 p.m. tomorrow, Tuesday, April 5th, 2022, right here on my channel. Information will be down in the description below. And don't forget July's workshop with myself, Canela Sirocco Art. We are going to be in Naples, Florida. It's going to be a blast. We're going to paint. We're going to talk. We're going to gossip, whatever you want to do, okay? So if you want information on that, go down in the description. It will be there. I love you all. And until the next time, happy pouring.